Mm. Am I still out for the count or is this a lucid dream? Don't mind me. I'm just doing my Pilates workout. Regular as clockwork since lockdown. You should try it. Honestly, the positions I can get into. Mm. I'll take your word for it. How come you're so bright-eyed and bushy what's it? Because I can only drink better than you can. Honestly, you've been off the booze that long. One sniff of a cork and you're giddier than a drunken nun. Mm. I'm talking about the nun bit. Peter hasn't called here, has he? No, not since last night. Last night? <gasps> Daisy made me talk to him on the phone. Yeah. And I pretended to be at a hotel. Yeah, he did that as well. But he's fine, because he probably won't even mention it. But what, what if he does? I mean, and then I'm going to have to make up loads of nonsense about being at the meeting, aren't I? So what? I make up nonsense all the time. Oh, this is different, Jenny. I mean, it's one thing the fibbing on the phone, but lying to his actual face after what's happened. Now, mate, get your laughing gear around that. Pecan, maple, cinnamon, swirl. Oh, mate, I'm sorry, I can't face that. But listen, oh, thanks anyway. Oh! I, you know what I was thinking? Us blokes, we need to stick together. Yeah? In what way do you mean? Well, you know, when people do the dirty on us. Hold on, Steve. Do you know something I don't? What? I'm talking about Tim nicking me job. Should have been me driving that flipping hearse today, not him. What? Gail's dad, Ted. Oh, Ted, sorry, right, yeah, Ted, yeah. What do you think I meant? Oh, I... I thought you were talking about Carla, didn't I? She told me she was staying over at this hotel in Arrogate. What's wrong with that? She lied to me, Steve, because Adam told me that Sarah went there instead. So where did she stay? Well, you tell me, but I know where my money's on. Where? With that Lucas fella, that's where. Who? Lucas's name is he. She met him years ago when she was living down in Devon, right? And he he always had a thing for her, apparently. Do you know what I mean? And mm. now he's turned up again, and he's trying to sweet talk her with one of his big business deals. Ah, uh, you think he's uh, sealed the deal? Well, I wasn't going to put it that bluntly, but yeah, I do. Hey. Hey, yeah. I I came by earlier, but you weren't here. Oh, did you? Oh, sorry. I uh, I didn't take it up with me, so I didn't nip on changing. Right. So how was it? At the hotel. Mm. Yeah. Well, you know, mattress was lumpy, and of course I give you these awful chocolates, don't they? I think it was strawberries and cream last right, night. Right. Well, look, sorry. I'm I'm going to stop you there. How about we both stop pretending we don't know what really went on last night? OK. Carla, I know you didn't go to the hotel because I saw Adam. He told me Sarah went instead. Uh. And before you try and explain your way out of it, don't, because I get it. I do. You get it? I get it. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, the thought of you and him together was like somebody had got a knife and they stuck it in my guts and they twisted it. Hang on a minute. Who exactly are we talking about here? We're talking about Lucas. Who do you think? But I thought about it and... Look, after everything that I have put you through, I can't really blame you, can I? Uh, all right, whoa. Just wait a minute. I shouldn't have lied to you. OK, that was stupid, but nothing has gone on between me and him. Carla, are you really going to do this again? It's true, Peter. I had a bit too much to drink with Jenny. I stayed at Jenny's. Really? Really. OK. And how do you explain what you said to Lucas? What? I came round yesterday and I bought you some. Anyway, I heard what you told him, how you wished that we had never got together. Or, or did I imagine that as well? <sighs> you... You know what I meant. No, I don't by know that. what you meant. So why don't you enlighten me? Our lives. Yes. They've been so chaotic, you know. I mean, your affair with Tina, my brother getting you sent to prison for goodness sake, me sleeping with Adam, you know, we've caused each other a lot of pain over the years. Well, if you feel like that, why don't we call it a day? I don't feel like that. And we won't call it a day. Well, I won't anyway. Because despite everything, Peter, I 
really love you. Oh, you really love me, but you wish we'd never hooked up. <sighs> well. I just can't help thinking I'm the one that's pushing you to, to drink again. I'm the one that's killing you. Well, that's ridiculous. I'm toxic, You're Peter. being ridiculous. I'm toxic. You know what? If, if you'd never met me, you, you might have met somebody oh. else, somebody better, had a better life. Not be facing liver failure. That's a lie. It's the truth. No. Hello. Is this him? This is Lucas. Lucas, this is Peter. Peter, it's a pleasure to meet you. Sorry, am I uh, interrupting something? Yeah. But I'm finished here anyway, so I'm gonna go. All right, so we're gonna continue this conversation later then, yeah? Yeah? Martha tells me that Sarah did a great pitch. Yeah, well, I knew she would. So how come you didn't go, eh? I had stuff to sort out here. Well, thanks to Sarah, it looks like we're going to be putting Underworld stock in all our shops after this. Oh, well, that's, that's great news. Yeah. Well, the bad news is it means that you'll be seeing a lot more of me. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be able to cope. You know, if it's a problem, for any reason, I'm more than happy to deal with Nick or Sarah. Yeah, like I said, I'll be fine. Time for a coffee? Uh, not really. I've got to get back. Is everything all right? Yeah, fine. Oh, come on. I know you better than that. We've just agreed on a massive deal that's going to see you raking it in. Yeah, and I'm pleased. Exactly. The car that I knew, she didn't do pleased. She went straight down to the nearest wine bar, cracking up the bubbly, probably dancing on the tables at some point. Yeah, but we've been through this, haven't we? I'm not the Carla that you knew. Your fella does know that there's nothing between us, right? Yeah, of course he does. So what is it then? I mean, I clearly walked in on some sort of rye earlier. OK, well, if you must know, he heard us talking about him yesterday, about our relationship, and it didn't go down too well. He does trust you, though, doesn't he? Not really, no. Doesn't sound like a great basis for a relationship. Yes, well, look, we've got a lot of history, and let's just say trust hasn't featured too heavily in it. I know that feeling, too. I've messed up plenty of relationships. We haven't messed up. It's not what I'm saying. Look, if you want to talk things through, just as, as mates. Thank you. I don't think it's a good idea. 